Hello everybody, welcome to ChinFat. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering uh, workspaces. When you open up Premiere, what you're going to find immediately here at the top are these different workspaces. These are basically different layouts for all these windows that you have up here. You have uh, your project area, your source area, your program area, and your, your timeline or sequence down here. And what these different layouts or these different workspaces are going to do is they're going to rearrange these windows to kind of optimize the space that you're working in for if you're doing things like uh, just regular editing, color correction, effects, audio mixing, and a whole bunch of different types up there. And the way you change these is you simply move your mouse above these and you'll click on it and it will arrange your windows for that type of editing or that type of uh, work that, that, you're, that you're doing at the time. This is like the assembly layout here where it has a, a larger media window and then it shares the space for your source and program window and then you've got your timelines down here. So it really opens up a big space for media here. When you go to editing, editing puts the source monitor over here so you can do quick in and out points and then it uh, has your timeline down here and a little less room for your media space down here. If you hit color, it'll arrange it for color correction where you have your Lumetri panel on the side and so on. As you click on different on, on different workspaces, it's going to have different windows optimized for that type of that type of production work that you're doing. Now up here I've got some customized ones that I've done myself. And by the way, if they aren't all showing up here at the top, you can move over to the arrow here and this arrow contains the rest of your workspaces. If you click on that, it's going to show the rest of your workspaces. So yeah, keep in mind if you all, your, all your workspaces aren't up here, the rest of them are under these double arrows here. Especially if you've added a lot of workspaces, a lot of them will be found under these, this little uh, double arrow drop down here. Also, these workspaces are found under Window. If you go up to Window, and the first menu down here is Workspaces. Here you have all those exact same workspaces that you have here. And this does the exact same thing. If you go to Workspaces and select one of these, it'll do the same thing as if you just clicked on your workspace up here. Now let's say you want to do some rearranging on your window. Say you want to kind of change your, your, your workspace here. Maybe you're working on two screens and you want to drag some to some screen and some to the other. You can simply grab one of these tabs. Say we want to drag our timeline to our secondary monitor. I don't have a secondary display uh, connected right now that you guys are able to see. But if, you were, if I did, you could grab one of these tabs here. I'm going to grab my Scene 9 tab and I'm going to drag it. And this will disconnect it. And if I drag it over to another window, it does this free-floating window here. Now I can drag it over to my other window. I'm going to drop it here and pretend like this is my secondary monitor. And then you can drop it on your secondary monitor. And now I can uh, move down to the edge here, grab the edge, and drag it down and make it fill the screen. So I can have my full timeline on one window. And then I can have all my other project area on the other window. Then I can have my project window and my source window and my program window on the other monitor, on my secondary monitor. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to grab this, put it right here, and I want to go back to my default on editing. By the way, anytime you change something, if I change this here, let me change the size. If I change this and I have it on my secondary window, this has now been saved to my editing space here. It remembers the way I rearranged this for my editing space. So if I go to Effects, It'll rearrange for effects here. But now if I go back to editing, notice it remembered the last thing that I did to change my editing workspace. So let's say you want to kind of restore this back to the editing, uh, original editing layout. If we pull down this little menu tab right here, this little three bar menu tab, you click on that, it'll bring down your menu, your little drop down. And you have a few options in here. The one I'm going to tell you to be careful about is hitting this save changes to this workspace. If you do that, it'll permanently save over Premiere Pro's uh, default default workspace for this setting right here for editing or whatever one you're on. So I would say avoid hitting this middle one here. If you want, if you like your layout and you want to keep it that way, you can hit save as a new workspace. And you can type in the name of your new workspace, hit OK, and it will arrange that and it will save it up here in your in your little bar at the top. Now if you want to get it back to normal, we're going to go up here and pull down and say reset to saved layout. If you do that, it'll reset it back to the original way it was. As long as you did not hit this little uh, save changes to this workspace. Just kind of avoid that like the plague there. Unless you get it, unless you want to change the editing layout and have it be your new layout and as a way you like it. Just be, care just be aware that that permanently erases the uh, Premiere Pro original layout. Now you also have this little edit workspaces here and you can rearrange the way you want these things to uh, show up in your editing up in the bar here. You can put your ones that are more important at the beginning. Uh, I like these ones at the beginning here, but let's say I also like graphics up uh, here next to editing. If I hit OK, notice it brings graphics up here. So it puts your more important ones up here so you don't have to click on this little double arrow to show this. Now you have all these same features up in a window workspaces and down here at the bottom you have that same little pull down right there with reset to save layout, save changes to this workspace, save as a new workspace and also 
uh, edit workspaces. And you also have this little check mark in here. This is check marked by default. If you have a specific layout for the project that you're working on, say you're working on graphics, and I save this project under graph, and I save this project, next time I open it up, it'll have this layout going right here. And that's on there by default. Now, one other thing you can do to rearrange your windows here, let me go back to editing, is this. If you want to share a window with a specific place, you can actually come up and grab a tab and you can drag it around on the same window. And you've got this little kind of weird square shape in the middle, then these kind of dovetails on the, on the side here. What that is going to do is it's basically going to disconnect this window and drop it where I'm dragging it. If I put it here, it's going to add it to these tabs in this window space here. It added it to that tab right there. And I put that back and I'll do the exact same thing. I'll put it right here in the middle on that large rectangle, drop it in, and then it became one of the tabs in this window. If you grab this and you drag it up to a window and you move it down to one of these, these uh, side dovetails here, if I put it here on the bottom, watch what it does. It basically adds a new window on the bottom of this window right here. It puts it on the bottom space. If I grab it and drag it to the left-hand side, it'll put them side by side. If I drag it, put it on the top, puts it on the top, and so on. And you can also change the size of your windows by moving in between these lines here till you get this little double arrow line, and you dra simply drag it over, which gives you more space for one tab and a little less space for another tab. So now I'm going to click on here and reset it back to and reset to my saved layout. And that's the basic rundown of your workspaces in Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, please post them. Thanks for watching, and look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Chinfat. Goodbye.